Want to know what life is like for a college student in Nanaimo? In this video, I'm going to do my best to paint the picture for you. Hi, I'm Rita, a Nanaimo-based realtor helping people relocate to Vancouver Island. I've had a lot of questions recently from soon-to-be Nanaimo college students, so I thought it was time for me to do a bit of research on this topic. Now, I did not attend school here, so I'm just going to be going based on what I found and what I imagine to be true about college life in Nanaimo. But before I begin, please hit the subscribe button so that you're sure not to miss any of my weekly videos. Firstly, Nanaimo's largest industry currently is construction and was forestry for many years before this. Nanaimo's colleges have excellent trades programs, which people from all over the world come to attend. If you're an international student or coming from out of province, Nanaimo is a city on the east coast of Vancouver Island, about 60 kilometers east of Vancouver. The easiest path here is to fly to either Vancouver or Calgary, and then to connect to a flight to Nanaimo. If you make it to Vancouver, there's also the option of BC ferries or the float planes, which will take you directly to the Nanaimo Harbor downtown. Internationally, you can also fly to Seattle, which isn't very far from Vancouver Island, and connect to BC's capital, Victoria, by either flight or ferry. Then you would just have to drive about two hours north to Nanaimo. You can also drive from Seattle to British Columbia and cross at the Peace Arch border crossing, which is about a two hour drive. Don't forget your passport. One thing I do want to quickly mention is the application process for international students is different than for domestic students. So make sure to check out your respective college's admissions page for links and information on how to apply. Now on to your Nanaimo colleges. Spratshaw Community College is a BC-based college with campuses throughout the province. The Nanaimo campus is located downtown on Terminal Avenue. The benefit of this college is it offers no wait lists with monthly start times. They provide accelerated programs which earn you a diploma in under two years, with with programs ranging from healthcare assistant, business administration, early childhood education, and trades and design. If you're a brand new student attending school in the city for the first time, you'll be happy to hear that according to their website, the Nanaimo campus is known for an engaging student lifestyle with events and holiday celebrations throughout the year. The Nanaimo campus does not offer residential living, but later in this video, I will summarize rental costs in Nanaimo. Discovery Community College is a career training college located on Dunsmuir Street in downtown Nanaimo. Their mission statement reads, Discovery Community College is committed to hands-on training and to graduating work-ready students who are sought after by employers. They use a hands-on work-by-doing philosophy in fields such as business and finance, healthcare such as medical and dental, community support work, and justice and community safety work. Vancouver Island University. So VIU was founded in 1969 and was known as Melispina College, but later became Vancouver Island University in April of 2008. The main campus is in Nanaimo, in the University District or the Harewood neighborhood. VIU's core programs range from master's degrees to one-year diplomas, and there are 120 to choose from. From business to science, arts to trades and social work, you can learn a skill in almost any field here. Additionally, VIU offers English language certificates for ESL students for the thousands of international students that Nanaimo welcomes each year. They also have really great exchange programs, co-ops, and practice practicum programs for schools all around the world, and sister school agreements with Japan, Korea, and Thailand. Vancouver Island University also has an acceptance rate of 60 to 70 percent. One bonus of VIU is it does offer their students on-campus living in one of their 10 residency buildings for up to 500 students. I'm going to include a link to the VIU res site in the description of this video below. So on to the rental market in Nanaimo. VIU also provides information about off-campus living on their website, which I'll also link in the description below. Here you can find information about boarding, temporary stays, and where to find roommates. These options are worth taking a look at if you plan on studying in Nanaimo, as the rents here are not the most affordable. Over the past month, 
The average rent for a studio apartment in Nanaimo was $1,495. The average rent for a one bedroom apartment was $1,653. And the average rent for a two bedroom apartment was $1,995. So for transportation, if you're living off campus and do not own a vehicle, you have a few options if you were not within walking distance of your destination. The obvious one is the regional district of Nanaimo's transportation system. You'll be happy to hear that VIU does have a bus exchange, and if you're at another campus, the bus system seems to be pretty thorough and spread across the city of Nanaimo. I'm not super sure about their schedules, but if you have personal experience with the Nanaimo transit system, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. After this video is done, of course. No, for real, don't go anywhere. They also offer students a semester pass for $170 for four months. This equates to $42.50 a month, saving you money compared to if you were going to get the $50 a month bus pass. And although Nanaimo has been extremely slow at introducing a decent rideshare company to the city, a new Canadian owned and operated company called U-Ride launched on December 2nd of 2022. And from what I've heard, people are loving it. So for jobs, if your student workload allows for you to get a part-time job, there are plenty of opportunities in Nanaimo. Just scroll on any job posting board and you'll see that many any service industry jobs here, just like anywhere else in the province, it seems, are severely understaffed at the moment. And of course, if this isn't what you want to do, there are lots of other options as well. And as of April 1st of this year, minimum wage has increased to $16.65. For food, and I know you college students love to eat, Nanaimo's got anything you're looking for in terms of yummy food, from my personal favorite poke, to ramen, sushi, fast food chains, and large chain restaurants. I know eating out can get quite expensive. Unfortunately, so can groceries on Vancouver Island. So my recommendation for groceries at a low cost would be Superstore or Costco. Now for Costco, you do need a membership, but I find that their fresh berry selection and vegetable are always at a much more reasonable price and you get much more for your dollar. Not to mention, you can get a hot dog and a drink there for a buck fifty. As always, I hope this video has helped you if you plan on studying in Nanaimo. There's always so much to do here in the outdoors. And if you like to road trip, check out my video on my most recent day trip to Hornby Island. Don't forget to hit the like button if this has been useful for you. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.